Okay, after arguing with my GoPro for a solid hot minute because the shit was flat out dead, it refused to take a charge, I plugged in the charge, it turned on, it beeped, it turned on, it beeped, it turned on, it beeped, and now I managed to force restart it. Anywho, welcome back to my channel, Nekolive Tech and Irela, back today with a new video, and today our focus is mainly going to be that motherboard with me and Oscar. But this is also going to be like the last video. Which is kind of like in a day in my life vlog. Now, if you look around me, you might be like, Oh, it looks quite nice here. Well, that's because besides from washing the hallway, I have washed my entire apartment. Bathroom, bedroom, here, kitchen. Oh, and cleaned this entire place off after the madness that was last episode. Oh. So that's done, I just got done sorting the files for that video. And for the love of God, YouTube, what the fuck is your problem? And what the fuck is my network problem? Oh, seriously, YouTube. So yeah, and I've exported all the previous videos, so they are going to be uploaded shortly. Oh, I can upload them as private though, and then just publicize them when they're actually done processing, I guess. So that's done. So now I got left to do the hallway takeout trash. I had that checklist, didn't I? I had that checklist, I see. Well, I mean, vacuum and clean, they can take that one off of there pretty much. Um, uh, you weren't even flunk. So yeah. I've been talking from the back with the guy at the... Uh, at the um, on them lead. He did ask if I uh, did absolutely needed a Grand Ma 2 feather wing or commander wing because they had a Grand Ma 3 commander wing uh, and one of their Ma 2 commander wings was gonna go to it had to be on service. I mean if they can if there's a long time until they get the Ma 3 feather wing and the lease price I get for them is about the same then I'll probably just take a Grand M.A. 3. I guess I can get to play around with a bit of the new stuff from M.A. I guess. And I mean it ties just fine into um, M.A. 2. So it's not the end of the world. But I would prefer the M.A. 2 Commander Wing if I can get one. Or buy one I guess. So yeah. So that's pretty much where we are. So I'm going to finish cleaning out the hallway. And well, theoretically speaking, I'm supposed to record a auto truck video for my gaming channel. Just update them on a little bit of stuff. Um, <laughs> so yeah, also got labels printed. You can see these first ones are kind of scuffed and I know why. It's because I need to export them as a PDF file. And then I need to go into Adobe Acrobat and then set custom margins in there for it. And then just kind of make him fill the entire page in order for them to be properly. So I got my Stage K label switch. It's down here. I got these to be practically correct. I think I'll maybe in the file just add a space or two on the end here. And well, other than that, these are actually lining up properly. So my Stage K stickers, they... Got good. I just need to redo my Nekolov ink ones. So yeah. Or not redo them, but add spaces and then export them to PDF and then print out new ones. But I am going to be used to using the ones that are usable off of those ones since well. I mean, granted, somebody may say that, well, they're only 70 bucks, but... Or 7 bucks, but... I know. So yeah, so that's kind of where we are. So I'm gonna probably go out with the trash now. Then do the hallway. Then we'll see where we go from there. Since well, the clock is 4:22 a.m. So to be completely honest with you, I'm a little unsure if I'm actually gonna bother sleeping. Because I know for certain that if I sleep now, 
Well, if the alarm is on high enough and I get a call from Captain, I will wake up immediately, then I'll probably do it because here is the thing. Back in the day, I was a guy that even though I only had like two hours of sleep, if my alarm rang, I could get my ass up, have a cup of coffee, be good to go. But you know, after I turned like 18, 19, I've been just ugh, trying to get up in the morning. More than I was before, per se. So, yeah. But I'm gonna continue with the hallway now and I'll update you guys in a while. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've been out with the trash. I've washed everything. And now, that's still hot, and I'm gonna get my coat. So, now I'm gonna wash this, have some pizza, and then we'll see. By anything, I may be record up one episode for my gaming channel, so... Okay, I'm back, folks, with an update. I'm done recording the episode of Eurotruck. I have edited together a quick little video for Stage K. And I'm waiting for the peak files to generate for the video I recorded. Uh, not yesterday, but the day before. I actually did not record a single shift yesterday, actually. Yesterday was kind of just like, just a out on town, um, to chill day per se. So I'm waiting for that to import the dead belt, the pentagon. How far did I get the one through that? I think it's about time to crack this one. Oh. So yeah, so I'm gonna shrug through that. And then after that, I'll probably head out. Oh my god, special house or whatnot. Have myself a coffee, a lot of machito, as I've had the last few mornings now. So yeah, so I'll update you guys. Well, I'm shrugging through, about two hours shaved off, only about, well, two and a half hours to go. Computer, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned and stay awesome, and yeah. Wow, that means all the IRL videos are done, and the one video I record for the gaming channel is going to be mostly on the cut. I just upload. Holy heavens. Media and Kuda. We didn't search for crap. All we want to do now is go in here. Do. You do. Copy. Ready for export, 4K, paste, pull up, la performance, and let you go ham, holy heavens, I am gonna have to rename those out from my, uh, <sighs> well, I guess I'll just copy you, so I can just quickly move you over. Finally, you are done with your VAM. Which means by any luck, I can go on my export it.
Aha, uh -huh. well, yes, because that one is that one, yes. So that one is stage K. So the type of march that we got. This one which is 20th of March. Then we got the rewiring the NCE which is the 21st. Then we got No, 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 because that one was the other one, so yes, that one is correct. But I might as well put it as one, because I pretty much know I started that one after. Eh. Did you copy? No, I was in the Firefox window. You slunk, and then I gotta do tags, so I'm putting you guys down for them. NCE. NCE. Beta Sys. Uh, Johnson Controls. Sys Controls Electrical. Yes. Then I just copy those tags in there. So you are easy. Then we add, uh, well, I was supposed to import that from the other video, but I was too quick for a system. Then we publish you, and that's probably going to take it solid another like two hours to upload because my network is on crack. All of that does mean I can go on to Decolite Feed Me Up Senpai and I can move you into uh, the Iron Archive. Holy heavens! Oh, go behind that! Move here! Shires. I need more VAM, I need more cores, I need more everything, empty recycle bin, VAVE, yes, delete indeed, oh, so that means all those videos are going to be exported good and done, so then, the next thing is, all the gosh darn tech it videos, or not tech it videos, all of the gosh darn, oh was it tech, yes it was tech it, all the tech it videos, oh, and then I recorded, get those, uh, Edit it together real quick and then upload those and I guess I can exchange another day to be like four episodes of uh, Minecraft as well because well I haven't been uploading anything else. Today I'm just going to casually upload that one episode of like um, so I'm probably just really it out. Oh yeah blood hunt fun. For these to get done exporting, and that will stay under the exporting, I'll probably... Well... I'll probably set myself up with a TV share. So that way, when I'm out, I can choose the remote into this thing, since my TDNS ain't working, so I can't use the remote desktop exactly. Which would work too well anyway on the total of how many screens I have connected. 
but anywho, so that way I can connect to this machine on a TV and then upload. I don't know what, but my upload speed is like crap at the moment. Like I had a hundred hit earlier and that was like 25 megs a second, no problem. But that was only on like 50 last time I checked. And I'm uploading a literal 19 gig clip. And then we have the next clip, which is going to be 24 gigs. The one after the app is only 5 gigs because it's only like a 9 bit video. The troubleshooting is 70 gigs because that's a 28 video. And then the one I just got done editing is going to be a motherfucking like 30, 40 gig vid because it's one and a half hour. I cut it down from like five and a half to so be happy. So yeah, so that's where we are. So I'll probably update you guys more throughout the day because right now it's literally nothing happening. Because finally, new work is finally live again after holy heck on awful time. It's been a while. Anywho, I'm alive, and as you guys can probably see, I'm laying at half as long. Clock is 2.09. Yes, I did sleep. Cat called and woke me up around 11. Still be kind of just dangling around. I'm just relaxing a little bit, but I guess waking, waking up. At, well, especially this notification got me to open my eyes a bit. Be like, hold up a half minute been a while uh so yeah so i'm awake now both videos are done exporting so i uh, probably what i'm gonna do now is uh well i'm sitting out to watch him for a while probably so yeah so that's where we uh are what is the temperature in here? 27.5 Yes So I'm gonna Get some water and stuff and I'm gonna Push new work for a while and then I'll update you folks I'm back with a little bit of an update Transferring the Minecraft servers, or not transferring them, but copying them. So I can put them on the better computer because I'm going to be setting up the better computer. Because if you get that motherboard up and running, well, if not, I'm going to have to buy a new donut motherboard. But anywho, my point is that if you can get that CPU to cooperate, if not, then just buying a. To be completely honest with you, just buying an i3 of 12th gen or 13th gen is a viable option because uh, if you compare like 12th gen or 13th gen i3 to like i3 like 8th gen or whatnot it's so much better so i would actually say and i know some people are gonna go eh, but i believe that an i3 in 2023 is actually a viable option at least from like 11th gen and up at least 12th gen and 13th gen definitely it's a viable option so yeah of course here's the thing that if you can't get that motherboard to work do i buy a new motherboard uh, potentially have the same problem with the CPU again, or do I drop this CPU by a LGA 1700 board and an IG i3 12th gen and um, do that instead? And well, funnily enough, then I can actually use 
my two 8 gig sticks but if those are 16 gig sticks I would actually benefit more from having two 16 gig, 20, uh, 16 gig 2666 uh, sticks than two 3200 megahertz 8 gig sticks to be completely honest with you so I'll probably stick with that RAM to be completely honest with you So yeah, we already know that the RAM is not really having a great time trying to run with other stuff. So if I want to go full ham and go 36 gigs on this, then I'd rather order two more of those sticks and throw them in there because they still sell that DDR3 um, 2666 HyperX Furry kit. Which will actually say that the machine that, well, probably did, technically speaking, the least amount of RAM, because it's a media computer in main case, and the reason. Besides from well, potentially doing some rendering work, which, well, if we do upgrade to a 12th gen Intel, would actually be beneficial for that purpose. But I also need to buy some RAM for my main machine because I'm currently stuck at 16 gigs on my main machine and I kind of need more like 64 on my main machine for the stuff I do so yeah we're in kind of a honky situation so she is 312 now I'm gonna beat cat around 430 in town and then around 5 we're gonna Find a place to sit and eat. Then we're gonna eat, and then probably around six something. Oscar is gonna go and pick me up. A baby cat too, and we drive her home first, and then. Yeah, we'll see. And then me and him will head back here. We'll have a look at that motherboard. And that's a ball for if we can turn it up a bit internally. And then we'll kind of see what happens, but uh, at least my uh, apartment is looking less like a crab fest like it did yesterday, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to chill around here, watch do work, move my stuff over, since he's finally live again, or show that he decides to live, like the last video this guy uploaded. Let's see here. YouTube. Yes, the last video he uploaded was two years ago, which was a open 15 inch laptop. Yes, December 18th of 2020. The last time he was live. Was before that, December 18th. So yeah, I wish there was like an FN lock on this thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, chill it out a bit, move my servers over. I actually found out our OG FTB Infinity server, like the one that we did like from 2020 or what though, is actually 14 gigs. And I actually want to try and rebuild up that one because I created a new server with the same seed. We did actually land in the same place. 
So what I'm about to do is actually take and recreate that entire server from scratch and have it be at a playable level because you know, even though that that uh, server is well been kind of set and forget at this point, uh, I still miss a hell of a lot playing on that because that was the first major server that me Cat and Jan played a lot on besides of the Technic 1710 pack uh, and. Vod 710 pack is back on Technic, but the problem is that uh, it's coming back quite a bit more RAM hungry than what it was. Uh, which means we'll probably have to throw in some mods ourselves, like foam fix, stuff like that, to try and mitigate that problem as well. Because that thing was using 13, 14 gigs of RAM. Then I run on my machine, and that was back when I still had 32 gigs in my system before that the access violation error got so much on my became so much of a headache for me that I ripped out the two newest sticks, which was 91 and 92, and left 40 and 41, or 39 and 40. Uh, I think it was 39 and 40. And left those in the system, that's a batch number or item number, whatnot. Um, in my system, but I haven't had a single access violation error since that time. So, yeah, so if I need more ammo, I'm stuck pretty much buying a full out kit. If I buy two kits simultaneously I should get from the same batch so it should really be a problem as long as I buy it simultaneously although buying a full kit would be ideal uh, if I buy two kits it's gonna be about well well he said a link here yeah the other day with some uh, ram well, here. Well, yes. This is what the... That's the one kit he sent me. Uh, 3600. Well, that's low profile, but doesn't really matter if it's low profile. With 79, 55, it's not like it's much difference. What we could do with the go with these like fancy ass QC C18 3600 or 3200 sticks. This is C16, granted, and that's C18, but. C16, I don't think that's gonna really be a problem. So yeah, so that's gonna be 2, 4, 10. And in today's economy, 10, 22 was the rate the last time I checked USD rate. So that's gonna be about 290 or 239-ish dollars. Well, I guess I could do it. Do it right here, right now for you folks, I guess. Uh, 2, 4, 10. Uh, divided by 10.22. 235. Actually. Plus and fire off. So yeah, so that's probably going to be the wrap stick I'm going to be popping in my machine. And then, well... I don't know. I don't know what kind of machine would even have used for 32 for 16 gigs of RAM. So I'll probably be sending those two kits as individual kits. On Fido or whatnot. Probably to earn some cash back. I'm gonna check the rates of those and see. Because I can't charge shopping price, but I can charge like maybe a hundred or two hundred below that. And I think they were like 900 a kit, maybe, if I remember correctly. So I could probably charge about 
600 for them. 600 times to 1200 bucks easy. Or 1200 Norwegian Krone, however. Which means I practically earned back half the price of that RAM in one selling. So yeah. So decisions, decisions. Because depending on when I get my tax return, I need to pay my phone pretty much immediately. And then I'm kind of stuck in this little dilemma because I need food. And I also want to buy that Pioneer D, uh, DDJ um, 250 controller to use with record box. So yes, that's kind of where we are. So I'm going to sugar log here and I'll update you guys later. Okay, back for the tent, we tried a bit of a duct tape, we're transferring over, okay, so you got faster reach speed than what your fucking write speed, okay, I, I'm not going to question shit tight, those were some cheap ass flash drives that were mainly for just having show files on, so, yeah. So here we are. Anywho, I have scrolled Insta, I have got one video to upload. All the one is a hanky walk and a half. Huh. So clock is now 3.55. Around 4 I'm going to check when the next bus goes, head to town. Or probably quarter past maybe, since it doesn't take me that long to get to town. <clears throat> so yeah, head to town, meet Captain, eat, and then Oscar will pick me up there. Then we'll hop back here and we'll try and get that motherboard back to operational standard. And you would believe it, folks, but it's actually fucking hot today. Or not fucking hot, but hot enough. 11 degrees, boy. And then tomorrow it's like three, four, four, five, five, six, seven. <laughs> the temperature curve. It's just like, oh yes, five temperature, and then it's just like down, 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 da ba ba ba, we 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 wa we we oh ba 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 ba. Uh, well, that is not 96 hours, but sure. So yeah, so I'm probably going to continue transferring over. This one is soon done. Then I'm going to transfer over the last of the stuff. Which, well, they have to be infinity single player. I don't know how big that one is, but our official server and the viral server is the two biggest servers in there, I believe. So because it was three different unleashed servers, then was the Infinity Evolved single player, the tech version 9.2 server. I really need to. I need to go into our the tech project, and I need to um, check up on. Um, oh, look at that! It's done. I need to go in and check up on our the tech project because since Oscar has quite a bit of work now, he's not been able to check up on that as much nowadays. Which means I've kind of been the uh, only one who's really had. Uh, who has really had the time to sit around and. Holy heavens, 29, what the fuck? So, Unleashed server, I mean if they're all laying on there, that's all that matters, you can go. I'll transfer over to tech you as well, the Spigot server, tech it server is over here. Or not, the, the, yes, the tech it's you server is over there, the 
Check it, sir. You were transferred from. Why are you called G? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's another file. Yes, never mind. It's fine. And the Spigot 171 server just refused to work properly. Okay. Shift delete. Yes. That means I can also shift delete those out of that USB stick, which is going to take a whole minute. So now, uh, the rest of these are how much? Holy heavens, 35 gigs, what the fuck? Okay, so the tech server U are half a gig. The temp test server is half a gig, so that's one gig. The single player reload is half of one. FTB Infinity Revolt Recreate. Nanny, oh wait. I know why. Because the original one kind of fucked up. So those two are the biggest ones. And then we got Direwolf 20, which is one gig. The other Direwolf server, which is the 112 server. So basically, you, 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 and you is what we're going to transfer first. And then, well, 16, 26, 27, 28, well, 30. I may be able to transfer both the recreate and the original one over, but we'll see. Uh, if not, I'll have to do those two individually. Because they're uh, they're they're chunky boy. They're chunky. Well, that I think just crapped itself. I really need to move around that antenna. Are you fine, you USB stick? Okay. There. Oh, you're doing all the like OGG files and shit, not video, you're having a hard time. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue doing this OGG files and I'll make a quick video before I head out. Okay, so it's soon done transferring the Minecraft servers and she is 17. So around 20, I'm gonna throw on a jacket. I'm probably just gonna throw on the uh, Coke jacket. The Coca-Cola jacket of mine and then head out. And then, uh, well, by any luck, that thing is finished uploaded, and by some mi magical miracle, me and Oscar finds out a way to fix my mother fucking um, <coughs> uh, network because my upload is on cracks. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys uh, when we're at the uh, uh, Yagun, I guess, and show you the pizza. Well, that I'm in town waiting for Kat standing here in the main stage we have here beside the city center shopping mall. So she'll be coming eventually, so was not too far away from where I can actually see her coming down here now. So we're gonna head to Ego, gonna have some food, and I'll update you guys when we are there well then i've got my food for while we're doing pizza buffet and coke so yeah i'm gonna enjoy some food